CPO uh, Philip Kakai, uh, a member of the Institute of Certified Public Accountants of Kenya and uh, a uh, former student of KCA. Uh, I did CPA here in the period of 1995 1997. Um, and of course, currently I'm the Vice Chairman of the Institute of Certified Public Accountants. And um, I've been an alumni uh, member here for quite some time. Uh, initially being uh, the first uh, chair of the alumni association. In the period 2012-2017, I was on a, uh, a work study program here. And uh, it supported me until I, I, I got uh, to move on. The other fond memories um, that uh, um, there was a very strong and good placement office. Uh, um, uh, in those days, it was called Kenya College of Accountants, which through uh, through which I got my first job at Parklands Sports Club, and even my second job uh, at uh, Sir Brown Bowling. So I remember those days um, um, so well that um, the needy cases, uh, like some of us, were able now to move to the next level and finish our education. Actually, I would, I would be very honest, the, the most important thing that uh, uh, stood out was quality of education and the lecturers, the, the structure of the lecturers, how they delivered the, 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 the accountancy because most of us you hear out there that accounting is so hard. But we had a very good um, team of lecturers uh, who, who, who really delivered well on their um, material. In those days, you remember, there were very few accountancy colleges. And uh, for, for me, KCS stood out. And um, by the way, we used to even to go through interviews before you joined the, the, the college. And, and, and it was quite orderly. So the delivery by the lecturers in all subjects was um, a very uh, important thing to me. So quality, quality of education which I still believe, uh, even now, KC University is delivering on that front. I'll be a little bit more honest on this, that students who studied in KCA University have had uh, uh, not much challenge. Uh, for example, I moved from uh, a class and went directly to a job at Parkland Sports Club, of course, through interview and the normal competitive process. And it required me only maybe a month or two to, to, to fit into the to, to the working life. Of course, um, uh, at the moment, uh, the, the most important thing currently is that we have to have the coaching, the mentorship program, attachments, internships that help to build the practical sense of um, the, the, the student into the industry. Mm -hmm. And that we do uh, and support uh, because uh, at the moment you find that uh, most students uh, leave university or colleges uh, with a little bit of a theory approach uh, than a, a practical approach. So of, uh, my advice, which has always been, is that um, um, the students of KCA have had a, a little bit of an advantage because of the quality of education they do receive. And even when they get to interviews and do the, 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 the transit to the real job, they take little time to, um, to, 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 to move to the next levels. The issue of integrity, especially for those of us who are in the accounting profession, transparency, accountability, and um, generally discipline is something that uh, I picked up from this particular institution and it has been good enough. How um, alumni can engage uh, productively with the university is uh, one, um, and, and this comes into my mind very quickly, having benefited from the, the KC university, one is to, to do what we call pro bono teaching to help grow the university. Two is to adopt students on a needy basis. Uh, we have very many needy cases here. They are able to adopt one or two uh, for purposes of even uh, supporting school fees and eventually uh, getting them uh, into the job market. That's another way. The other way is to contribute to the endowment fund uh, in terms of mobilization of resources so that we can be able to grow the university, the infrastructure, 
and um, it can even grow the teaching fraternity. The, the other thing and very important to me is um, uh, to carry out um, mentorship uh, um, programs. Attachment for students of KCA University is really, really important. Of course, um, and getting them uh, employment wherever they are, whenever they are able to. Uh, of course, uh, going through the normal competitive processes. So mentorship, coaching, uh, attachments are important for, for alumni to come back and pick students, adopt them. For those who need uh, support, they, those are some of the things they need to do. But on a bigger scale, is um, I look at it like the future should be that of um, where the alumni come together and even put up a, a building here, uh, the university, and say, uh, this is the building for probably a library, probably a lecture hall, which they can own and, and well labeled uh, alumni association of the university. And we are many, we, we can put resources together. Uh, the university has been able to set up um, offices for alumni, has been able to uh, support the alumni, to even set up structures, constitutions are in existence, there is leadership for the alumni. But uh, the key issue is to call upon the alumni uh, of uh, KC University to come back. You will hear us talking about 1990s, uh, and we are, we are talking about even uh, alumni who are in 2018 and all that. So it's a big pool of uh, students, and uh, former students I would call. So if we were all to come together, then it would be very important. The alumni association uh, and, and the university must work together, but also have a vision for the future. Um, where um, some of the budgetary constraints the universities has, they have as time goes by can be sorted out by a strong alumni association uh, in terms of infrastructure, in terms of uh, support to the needy students, in terms of, um, you know, uh, I would uh, really um, support the question of a placement office, a very strong placement office where uh, the, the students of uh, the university uh, now and uh, former are able to link up so that we support them because um, the, 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 the more stronger the alumni becomes, the more stronger even the, the university becomes. The brand of the university out there is their alumni and that's what I would uh, say. We have no choice other than to work together and have a vision to grow the alumni and even grow the university further.